Hey everyone, we're going to learn how to play Dress Blues. Okay, this song has three parts to it, and we're going to break them down into three parts. So, uh, first part of the song, what we need to learn, actually in the first two parts of the songs, is keep our pinky finger and our ring finger, put our pinky finger on the third fret of the high E, ring finger the third fret of the B. that sound throughout most of the song so um, the first chord we need to learn is the G and the E minor which is actually E minor 7 with your ring and pinky finger mashed down so we go between these two chords G E minor 7 G E minor 7 now we'll go between those two chords a few times, then we're going to make what is called a C add 9, which is, you know, just a C a bass note with our ring and pinky finger mashed down on the 3rd fret, just like we did the other two chords. So, uh, let's do the G, D minor 7, then to the C add 9. G. Minor seven, G, E minor seven, G, E minor seven, C add nine. Then back to the G. Now we're going to throw in a D chord, then back to the G. So here's what we got so far. G, E minor 7. G, E minor 7. G, E minor 7. back over so you do that a few times now we're going to get to the second part of the song once again we have our ring finger and pinky finger down the third fret and we're going to make an E minor 7 uh, all we're really doing is plucking the open bass note so it's really an open E but uh, you want to keep these two fingers pressed down like I told you earlier in the song so uh, E minor 7 Lift your pointer finger up, put it on the second fret of the E string. And make a G chord, which is our bird finger on the third fret of the E string. It's really our bass notes going from open, second fret, third fret. But we're going to strum these high strings while we do it. So that's walking from E minor 7. Do it again. We're going to walk from the E minor 7 to the G, but we're going to walk back down. And instead of going to the E minor 7, we're going to go to an E minor. 
that's with the high, these two strings open instead of mashed down like we had earlier in the song. So uh, here's what your E minor should sound like. So uh, let's go from walking from E minor seven, walk to G, E minor seven, walk to G, walk back down to E minor. And that E minor, that starts the third part of our song. And um, so let's go ahead and learn the third part, and then we'll put it all together, at least with the second part to begin with. So E minor. B minor. To C major. This is a C just like the C add nine, except you know, it has the same bass notes, except uh, instead of mashing down these two strings, we'll get it like this. So here's what the C sounds like. So E major, or, I'm sorry, E minor. B minor. C major. Now, we go from the C major. We're going to put our pinky finger the third fret of the B string. Lift up our pointer finger, put it on the first fret of the D string, and lift up your bird finger. This note sounds a little funny when it's played by itself, but when you go from a, we're going to go from the C to that note to a G, so it don't sound so bad when you use it like that as in transition. Let's go from C. So here's what we got so far on the third part of the song. E minor. E minor. C major. Crazy chord. G. Then we play the D. And back to G. And that, that goes back to the start of the song when we go from G to E minor 7. So, uh... Let's, let's put the second and third part together. So we're going to go from this walk up from E minor 7 to G. E minor 7. G. Back down to E minor. B minor. seven and the G and uh, you can throw that in in between verses or when you start the song it makes it sound a little more complicated than what it is so uh, I'm gonna play it once and let you hear it then I'll explain it G E minor seven back to E minor seven so what we're doing is uh Playing a G to the E minor 7. Now, instead of going just straight back to the G, we're going to make a G just 
Okay, go ahead and make the G like you normally do. And uh, pluck this third fret of the E string, which is our bass note of the G. But lift up your ring or pointer finger. We want to pluck the open A string. Now, put our pointer finger back down the second fret of the A. Pluck the open D string. Pick our uh, pinky finger up, put it on the third, I'm sorry, the fourth fret of the D string. Plug the open G. Then back to E minor seven. So let's play it for you one time. Practice that. G, E minor 7. G, E minor 7. G, E minor 7. G, E minor 7. So that's the whole song, including the run, so... You can play it from that. I'm just going to play it through one time for you, and that'll be it. Mm -hmm.